The examples we've looked at so far are pretty straightforward, but what happens if we have something where inside of a closure we're doing a little bit more than just returning a really simple single expression or a single string or something like that? Let's take a look at an example of this by mapping through a string and plucking out the amount of character occurrences in that string. Now, there are already functions that allow you to do this really simply in PHP, but we're going to kind of make up an example of building up something where we have a string in here, maybe my first name, and we want to go ahead and split this string and work out how many character occurrences. So we've got uh, two occurrences of A, two occurrences of E, you kind of get the idea. So let's just kind of roll with this and make it up. So I'm going to go ahead and use the string split function to split that string up. So let's pass that string in. If we just do a quick var dump on this, you'll see that we get string here. And you can see, sure enough, if I actually reference the correct variable, we get the following. So that split that up into an array of nine values, each one representing the letter inside of here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create out an array that we want to return, or an array of arrays that we want to return here. Now, the kind of structure I want here is the character, so let's say A, and then I want to uh, return a kind of map of how much this occurs. So I want this to be for A, and then maybe I want a second array item in here for E, which also says two, and then for X, for example, the occurs would say one. So that's the kind of result we're looking to achieve. So let's do this in the standard way and then we'll see how uh, this kind of uh, stacks up in terms of multiple lines with arrow functions and we'll see if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and create an array map in here that we normally would. We'd go ahead and uh, pass in the array unique values of that split string and let's go ahead and accept that character into here. Now let's go ahead and return the kind of structure that we'd want to see from this new array. We'd of course have an array being returned here with the actual character we were after. So let's just quickly do a var dump on this result just to see where we're at. And let's go over and give that a refresh. So maybe we could go ahead and echo out some pre-tags just to pres preserve the formatting of this dump, just so we can see that a little bit easier. There we go. So we've got an array of seven items now because we're using if we just head back over array unique here because we only need to know the unique things in the array to be able to calculate how many times each letter occurs and we can now uh, maybe pass a second argument into array map which is array count values what that will do is it will count how many times this particularly occurs so we can grab the split string here we can take in the count and we can go ahead and return that. So let's go and say that it, this occurs count times. So we can go ahead and var dump on this separately if you want to know exactly what this function does. But for now, we'll just kind of take a look at the result. So you can see that A occurs twice, L occurs once, so on and so forth, E2, X, N, D, R. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. But this is quite a big uh, function or quite a big um, array map call just to get them values. Let's look at how we can reduce this using uh, an arrow function. So of course what we could do uh, is just change, start to change this over. We know that we can still accept everything in here that we normally would. We lose the block and we lose the return statement. So we can get rid of the return statement and we can get rid of the block here. And we can pretty much just swap this out for that original array, like so. So that changes that over to an arrow function. But as you can see, there isn't really much difference. I don't think personally in this particular instance, there's much point of using an arrow function. You can if you want to, it's entirely up to you. We get exactly the same result. Of course, it is a little bit shorter, but um, you know, it's not that much shorter. So perhaps we could just use a standard closure for this unless of course you had other variables up here floating around that you needed to use in the return value of this in which case a uh, arrow function would be really useful because then you wouldn't have to use that use statement somewhere around here and kind of end up with a huge long line of things that you wanted to pull in
Now, I guess the point I'm trying to get here is that we can use multiple lines in an arrow function. Uh, I said before that most of the examples that we've already looked at are very simple in the way that we just have a really simple single expression. But of course, an array is best represented over multiple lines. So that's the first thing I'm trying to get at. But the second thing I'm trying to get at is that we could actually improve the way this works. If it's as simple as taking the character and the account and the count here as the two things that we've passed in, we could actually reduce this entire thing uh, to one line. Now we could do that anyway by pulling this up like so, but that gives us a huge long line, which is probably not great to look at. You know, it's way over the probably recommended amount that you have in your columns. So what we can actually do is if we just make a really simple change here and we change this to occurs, so just the name of the result of array count value that's passed in here, we could make use of another PHP feature, which is the ability to compact down variables that are in scope. So we could say, well, we want to compact down the character and the occurs. Now it's still quite a long line, but it really just depends on what you're passing in here. But that will have done the job. We don't have to manually construct the array here. And you can see we get exactly the same result. So really it's about balance. I don't see anything wrong with doing this. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too long here, but you know that's personal preference. But there we go. We've gone from that original array map with that function, that standard uh, closure in there, down to an arrow function, which still kind of look the same down to something like this, where we're using something like compact in its place. Although this was a silly example, of course, you can apply this to your projects and see if it suits what you're trying to do and how you're trying to clear things up.